welcome back to Sunken Land. Um, I'm actually on my castle tour build, if you like, at the moment. Um, we're going to have a look at some guns. Now, when I say some guns, I'm looking at the first tier level of guns that you can unlock via the research bench. These will be the first ones that any of you really come in contact with um, or decide to create. We have the triple barrel pistol um, here. Uh, these are all black powder pistol shotguns, uh, shots, shots. Uh, we also have the six shooter revolver and the old pistol, uh, scrap pistol, I think it's called. These are the ones we're going to have a look at. And the best way of really showing you them is to try and hunt some seagulls. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is just simply, there's your aim. And there you go. Shot straight out of the air. One shot. We switch over to the six shooter. You'll see you can do a similar. Thing. I'm not the greatest of shots, took two shots there, and then the scrap pistol hasn't got the distance. <laughs> See, he's not the greatest of pistols. I'll try this again. There we go. Taking a about three clips to get that one. Um, the triple barrel, obviously you get three shots in a triple barrel. It's basically a single shot. Um, probably not going to get any more seagulls close by anymore. They tend to not get too close to you. If you ask me, this triple barrel is probably the worst when it comes to your loading and your recoil um, and the time it takes. It's not the greatest first pistol to get. And I mean, there's many reasons why. If I, um, yeah, if I was to, I'm gonna use this panel here, you'll see that it's absolutely, I'm on the, nothing wrong with it, it's complete. <clears throat> if we use this panel here, you can see there's nothing wrong with the panel. It's absolutely fine. We go to the triple, We'll reload it and we'll fire its three rounds into it. So, one, two, three. Not a bad grouping. We'll let that reload. We'll switch over and you can see it's it's done, what, 105 damage. Doesn't take much to do that. We go round to the revolver. Um, we reload this because we have fired a couple of shots. It's one of the better reloaders, and in my opinion, apart from the kick up, it's probably the better of the three, in my opinion. Uh, and if we go up to it, it's 300 damage that it's created. There we go. We've got one more, and this is the scrap pistol. Again, we'll reload it so it's got a fresh mag. You get eight shots here. go it's probably the fastest actual reload compared to the revolver but again I, I, I just find the revolver better and easier to shoot and this only does 200 damage with the full clip so all in all I would say the revolver is your bet, best bet and it's also really easy to aim with because you've got full iron sight and the dot lines up perfectly whereas if you use the scrap pistol it's not, I mean, that's, it's not as nice compared to the revolver. And then obviously if you use the uh, three barrel one, it's just, I mean, yeah, you can clearly see what you're aiming at. But um, if we have a look here and we'll just aim for that little third down stem bolt, it drops and we're not even that far away. If I use the revolver, third stem bolt, Bang on accurate. We use the scrap pistol. Slightly to the right, but fairly accurate nonetheless. So yeah, all in all, I would say, in my opinion, when you first get to the point where you can 
have a gun, I would go with the revolver every day and twice a week on Sunday. Now, just for a little heads up, there are much better weapons out there. Um, I will, I will show you those now. So my pistol of choice, um, I use what I like to call the Deagle. It's a Desert Eagle um, style replica. It's fairly accurate. Um, I don't suppose there's any seagulls flying around now. Um, I don't really want to blow anything up either. Uh, tell you what I can do. We can repair a tire. It's quite nice to fight and it's uh, not bad quick. Then you've got the shotty, uh, very accurate on shorter distance. Um, I don't really want to blow anything up here because I've already lost one set of tyres. But yeah, I'll just give this a quick fire. That is a quick rapid fire mode. It will ride up. It's really handy for close quarters combats around tight areas so for example you want to go up there after you've done some sniping and this is the way to go bang 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 simple as that um, by far my absolute favorite is the bolt action sniper rifle I call it a sniper rifle I think it's just called a bolt action rifle but once you've got it in without any sights that little tiny green dot is pretty darn accurate uh, again we'll use a stem bolt here. We'll use that very top stem bolt. There you go. There's a tiny bit of a drop there. It might be me. It goes slightly above. No, it's me. There you go. Um, they are by far my top tier weapons. But there are more. Uh, here we are. We're actually in the armory. Uh, so you have the GP20 pistol as well. Um, I think we did have some more, but some of them have been taken by other players uh, antique flip lock um, if I go into build if I come into the inventory and scroll down other ones that can be made later on um, precision pistol as well these do quite a lot of damage but they're very slow on the re reload um, you've also got the SMGs um, there's also a stun SMG that holds like a big drum of magazines, much more mags. And then you've got double barreled shotgun. Um, in the rifle mixture, you've got the M16, great rifle. Not for long distance shooting, really. It is more of less a close up spray em and pray. Um, AK is slightly better, if you ask me, than the M16. But again, it's, you know, slow, slow close up. Um, sort of spray. The hunting rifle is sort of a mixture. Um, it's actually not a bad rifle. It's just its iron sights are not as good as the bolt action and its power is not as good as bolt action. And if I come into my personal little armory, I do have, I believe, uh, an M14. Uh, that's what the stun MG, uh, SMG looks like. Um, the M14 is a absolutely brilliant rifle except for the iron sight on it. Um, I'll show you what exactly what I mean. So just pop you up out of the way for a second, bring that down. Um, we'll use a window. So if I bring up my bolt action rifle and into the aim, you can see the target really clearly from here. You've got the little green dot. You've got the end of your iron sight. You can fire pretty consistently if I'm to swap over with the M14 15 rounds there's a little bit of a kickback do you see what I mean by the iron sight it just kind of covers all your target so if your target moves slightly you're going to have to move like this before you can reacquire whereas if you've got the sniper rifle and it moves you can just move with it you can follow them as they're moving so that's kind of why I pursue prefer the bolt action sniper to the M14 rifle however um, this doesn't have much of a kick and if you're pretty darn good I 
course, you've got the... The only problem with that is it does kick up. So um, that's kind of why I prefer having the setup that I have. Although sometimes I do switch with the stun MG and the shotgun, depending on my own personal ammo at the time. Uh, as you can see, we've been using shotguns fairly recently. Just add that to 60. Whereas pistol, we're now back to being full. I'm going to probably swap those around. And I better grab another rifle round pack there as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, if we're talking weaponry for your first tier weapons, your three pistols that you can create from the start, go with the revolver. The revolver is a much better weapon. Um, this one here, the revolver. It does 50 damage. Black powder ammo is much easier to create. Or the black powder, all you got to do is uh, run up to the same place that you create the weapons. Scroll all the way to the top and it's just black powder and two metal and that's really easy to come by because black powder itself is created with some sulfur and coal which is I mean they're easy coal is anything you cook you get coal from sulfur is the big rocks that are painted yellow pretty much underwater that you can mine uh, and they're abundant they're pretty much everywhere wherever there's a um, an underwater city, underwater structure, you're going to find sulfur. Um, and you haven't got to do anything with sulfur, you just literally take it with your black powder, mix them together, Bob's your uncle, job done. Uh, not with the black powder, sorry, with the coal, you get your black powder. So, um, yeah, real easy bit of ammo, real easy to get going with. And, and, I, and I'll be honest, up until maybe a week ago, maybe 60 hours in, I was still using the revolver as my uh, main pistol weapon. Even though I had shotguns and everything else. It was just so abundantly easy to create the ammo for it. So until next time, this has been Matty G. This has been a bit long. This has been, this has gotten away from the original topic, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe and share it with everybody. Leave comments. We love to hear from you. And uh, we're currently at about 280 subscribers. So let's boost those numbers a little. Um, I'd like to hit 500 by Christmas. Uh, maybe I'm being optimistic there. Who knows? Until next time, this is Matty G. Peace out. Yeah.